If you're looking for some awesome movies or TV shows featuring relationship between stepmother and stepson, you just click on the right video. Get ready to dive into these amazing ones that showcase unique connections. We're excited to share this ranking with you and would love to hear your favorites in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, so you never miss out on discovering great movies and TV shows again. Number 1. 40 Shades of Blue Director, Ira Sachs Wealthy music producer Alan James lives with his beautiful 30 years younger wife Laura, whom he met while he was in Russia on business. They live an affluent life in a sprawling mansion on the banks of the Mississippi in Memphis, Tennessee. Although she is comfortable, Laura feels lonely and isolated. Alan has an estranged adult son from a previous marriage, literature professor Michael. When Michael comes to Memphis for the first time in many years, although he had at first disapproved of his father's young wife, closer to his age than his, a painful and dangerous love affair develops between him and Laura. As this forbidden passion deepens in Memphis bars and bedrooms, Laura comes to an illuminating self-confrontation that will change her soul and life forever. Number 2. Harfanos. Director, Gita Scheifter. With independence, Spain leaves Mexicans orphans. Lost people fight among themselves looking for the way forward. Huerfanos is the true story of an enigmatic man, Melcher Ocampo, who while living a forbidden and passionate love in the violence of the 19th century, sets out to change the destiny of the nation. From an early age he took a liberal stance, which was largely due to the fact that he traveled to France and was influenced by the ideas of freedom. One of his projects was so controversial that it caused a major conflict between conservatives and liberals and he was forced by President Santa Ana to leave the country. Number 3. You Carry Me. Director, Ivona Juca. The plot is made up of three stories about the relationship between fathers and daughters. Dora, Helena Belgian, is a neglected girl who dreams of being a football coach, but suddenly her outlaw father appears in her life and the two develop a close relationship. Ives, Lana Barrick, is an opera director who takes care of her father with Alzheimer's, and with the imminent loss of him, she begins to lose her ground. Natasha, Natasha Dorsik, a successful producer, is pregnant and things are going wrong, making her decide to confront her father. Number 4. Mesterin. Director, Charlotte Sealing. Simon is the king of the Danish art scene, eccentric, successful, wealthy, with a beautiful wife and a young mistress. Life is beautiful, until the day his unknown son Casper turns up and attracts all the attention. It turns out that Casper is the world-famous graffiti artist, The Ghost. This is a provocation and a challenge to Simon, and the relationship between father and son is put to a serious test. However, Against all odds the two slowly grow closer to each other. But the question is whether blood ties are enough? Because after all, Simon has no plans of being a father, and Casper has other plans with his father than simply getting to know him. Number 5. Perfect Health. Director, Anka Damian. The family drama tells the story of a young lawyer who is devastated by the suspicious death of his father, a well-known judge. Andre, a young lawyer returns to his hometown for his father's funeral, a prominent judge and notorious womanizer. The suspicious circumstances of his parents' allegedly accidental death force him to start an investigation on his own. His growing obsession antagonizes his young stepmother and rattles the local legal community, silent witnesses of his parents' father's last night. An unexpected meeting with his high school sweetheart pushes his quest for the dangerous truths too far for his own good. Number 6. The River. Director, Juan Pablo Richter. Set in the Beni, in the northeastern lowlands of Bolivia, Juan Pablo Richter's feature film, The River, tackles rocky family relationships, toxic masculinity and the emerging identity of 16-year-old Sebastian, played by Santiago Rosso. Richter's debut film follows the teenager as he struggles to fit into the traditional conservative world in which he finds himself after being sent from the city to his father's logging ranch. Tensions rise when Sebastian fails to conform to his father's vision of the macho boss's son. But Sebastian is not immune to the pressures of this hyper-masculine world either. 
Pensive shots of the breathtaking countryside are juxtaposed with images of intense violence. Number 7. Family Practice. Director, Jeshua Dreyfus. Simon plans to introduce his new girlfriend to his parents on his father Carl's 60th beer th day, which brings the family together on Shabbat. As usual, however, his parents are occupied with their own problems. As if Simon were his best friend, Carl tells his son he feels 30 years younger since he started sleeping with his new secretary Sonia. Simon's mother Agnes convinces him to agree to transcribe his father's book to stop Carl from going on holiday with Sonia. While his parents soak up the sun on a nudist beach, Simon puts everything on the line by starting a seductive game of cat and mouse with Sonia. Number 8. Queen of Hearts. Director, May L. Tuhi. As a successful lawyer, Anna, Trine Dyerholm, has a happy marriage with the doctor Peter, Magnus Krepper. The four of them live in a beautiful house with their daughters and have achieved everything that could be achieved in their lives. Peter has a son from his previous marriage, Gustav, Gustav Lind, and decides to take the 16-year-old in with him. Anna makes a real effort to offer the stubborn teenager a harmonious home and family life. But over time she doesn't just feel motherly feelings for him. The relationship between a stepmother and her stepson develops into a serious affair that endangers both Anna's career and her family. Number 9. Woman in Car. Director, Vanya Rose. Woman in Car is a psychological drama produced, written and directed by Vanya Rose that follows the story of Anne, a widow grieving the death of her husband, who lives with her seven-year-old daughter in an opulent house in an exclusive neighborhood of Montreal. While her new husband is in New York on business, she sees her stepson reappear after several years of absence. He arrives accompanied by a young Turkish woman with disturbing behavior, which destabilizes Anne. She develops an obsession with the stranger and suspects that her guests want to stir up the past and bring back a deep pain. Number 10. Last Summer. Director, Catherine Brylett. And, Leia Drucker, can be proud. As a lawyer, she tries to help underage victims of abuse and young people in difficult life situations out of trouble. The family happiness seems perfect. She and her partner Pierre, Olivier Rabordine, adopted two girls. They live together in a villa on the outskirts of Paris. But then Théo, Samuel Kirker, comes onto the scene. The 17-year-old is Pierre's son from a previous marriage and moves in with them. Things quickly crackle between him and Anne. And that quickly causes dark clouds to gather over the hitherto idyllic family paradise. This film which presents a romantic influence in a family setting between two protagonists of different ages can disturb a young audience.